Hi there. In this video we will be converting an old not working vintage radio into a PC. We will recycle lots of parts to build this project. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel. This is an old Grundig radio that is not working and I thought it would be nice to transform it in something that would work. So I decided to turn it into a PC to use as a media center. For that I will use Asus P5 EV HDMI motherboard and Q6600 quad core CPU that I had and I wasn't using. The only things I bought were a SSD, a power source and a fan, all the rest I recycled. So let's start. I will start by removing all the parts from the radio. The core is all in one piece, I'll start by that removing the four screws from the bottom. It all comes off with the front panel and buttons included. Now I'll remove the top part of the front panel where the speaker was. No more parts in the front panel. That was easy. Now let's remove the lateral vents. By unscrewing the four screws on each side. Now I have removed all the parts from the body. Let's remove the volume and tune buttons from the front panel by unscrewing the one screw on each button. Then I removed the glass front panel. I also unscrewed the base of the other five buttons on the front panel. Now after some cleaning I will attach the top of the front by screwing it to the body. I'll set in place the front glass panel with some tape. Now I have to create a base for the five press buttons, two of which I will use as power button and reset button. I will use a piece of wood as the base. I'll mark it to drill the holes for the screws. I drill the holes. Then I screw some metal brackets to support the button's structure. I fit the structure between the two brackets and screw them. This is the final piece. Then I screw two bigger brackets to the metal structure of the buttons that will work to attach it to the body of the radio.
I marked the place where the screws will be to secure the buttons to the body. I carefully drill the holes in the bottom of the body so it won't break. Now I just have to screw the button structure. I used double sided tape to glue the wood part of the structure to the body. The buttons are in place as I need them. Now I'll replace the volume and tune buttons that won't be functional. I'll just hot glue them to the front panel. Now I'll tape the so they stay in place. Now I need to create a base for the power switch and reset switch of the motherboard. For that I will be using a piece of wood to hot glue them. Then I'll use a washer to make sure they won't move and it will guide the radio buttons to the switches. Next I'll glue the wooden base to the body of the radio. I attached two plastic pieces to the radio button's metal tip so it was easier to activate the switches. This is how it will work. When I press the SW2 button it will hit and activate the power switch. When I press the SW1 button it will hit and activate the reset switch.
Now I'll create the casing for the SSD activity LED. For this I will cut some plastic sheet to use as front LED panel. Then I'll cut some opaque sheet to defuse the LED light. I'll use the little unpainted window in the front panel to place the power LED indicator. I tape both LEDs to the front panel. Then on top of the SSD LED I place a reflective sheet and tape it to increase the amount of light produced by the LED. Now I need to create the base for the motherboard, I'll use two wood bars to do that. I'll mark the place where I need to drill the holes where the screws will be to secure the bar to the radio body. I drill the holes on the wood bars. I screw the bottom and top wood bars to the body of the radio. I'll place the motherboard on top of the bars to mark the mounting screw holes. Here are the six marked spots. Now I'll remove the bars from the radio body to drill holes. Now I'll insert the six screws and bolts on both bars that will be used to hold the motherboard. I'll screw the bars back on the radio body. I had to remove the middle screw of the bottom bar e drill a larger hole for the head of the screw because it was hitting the buttons bar and it wouldn't fit. Problem solved. Now I'll be using this plastic cylinders as spacers between the wood bars and the motherboard. I'll cut them with the same size to fit in the screw's length. After measuring I'll cut them. Now I'll put them in place, in the six screws in the bars.
Now I'll mount the motherboard in place, fitting it in the six mounting screws. And I'll secure it by putting the bolts on the screws. Here is how it looks like after mounting it. Now I'll need to mark the power supply fixing holes. I'll drill the holes carefully so I won't damage the body of the radio. I'll use double sided tape to secure the back holder for the power supply put it in place. Next I'll place the power supply in place. I'll screw it into the radio body. I'll put it in the correct position and finish screwing. Now I'll need to create a base for the cooling fan. I'll screw two brackets to the fan. Then it'll connect them together in the base. Next I'll mark in the bottom motherboard holding bar the spot where the fan base screw will be screwed to. I'll drill and put the fan in place. Next I'll be placing the SSD in the top of the radio body with double sided tape. Now I'll need to measure the power supply placement so I can cut a hole in the back cover of the radio. Next I'll plug in all the cable to the motherboard. Some of the cables weren't an easy task.
As I couldn't see the labels of the switches and LED sockets in the bottom of motherboard I took a picture before I placed it so it was easier to know where to plug it to. Next I'll cut the back cover of the radio where the power supply back is. Now I'll hot glue the lateral vents. Next I'll plug in all external cables and pass them through the already existing holes in the back cover. I'll screw the back cover. And there it is. Working great. You can see the green LED indicating the power is on and the red LED indicating the SSD activity. I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye until the next video.